In this lesson, we will show you one of the most important applications of tailwind variants, creating the responsive design. The responsive design requires us to apply element styles conditionally based on the width of the browser window. This is why variants are the perfect solution for responsive designs. We create a new div and give it a basic style. We give it a red background. At this moment, the div is not responsive. Its background color stays red regardless of the browser window's width. Tailwind gives us five responsive variants to set five breakpoints. Each breakpoint sets one minimum window width. The variant names are quite intuitive. Let's try the small variant first. We use it to set a blue background color for the div. Currently, the browser window is not wide enough to trigger the small variant, so the div stays red. Let's widen the browser window. We can see after passing the 640 pixel mark, the background color changes to blue. When the window is narrower than 640, the div becomes red again. The BG blue class has been removed. Next, we set a different background color for all breakpoints. Now we have set six background colors. Let's test the program. As we widen the window, new BG classes will be added to the div. No applied BG classes will be removed in this process. Every time we pass a breakpoint, a new BG class will be added, overriding its predecessors. As we narrow the window, things work in the opposite way. Every time we pass a breakpoint, a BG class will be removed. Its overridden predecessor will take effect again. Let's prove this. We add another small variant and set a red text color using it. Currently, the browser is not wide enough to trigger the small variant. After we have passed the small breakpoint, the text color turns red. If we continue to widen the browser window, passing more breakpoints, the text color will still be red. To remove text red class, we need to narrow the browser window until it is narrower than the width set by the small breakpoint. In your real life projects, you might find the container class very useful. It automatically sets a width based on the breakpoint. When the window is narrower than the small breakpoint, the width will be set to 100%. Every time we pass a breakpoint, the new width will be set to the breakpoint width. We can see every time we pass a breakpoint, the div gets a new width. Then its width will stay unchanged until reaching the next breakpoint. This also means after passing the small breakpoint, the div won't be placed in the horizontal center. If we want to locate the div to the horizontal center, we add the MX Auto class. When the browser window is smaller than the small breakpoint, the div is as wide as the browser window, which means there is no need to centrally locate it. So we prefix the MX Auto class with the small variant. Now the container div has a responsive background color and width. It will always stay in the horizontal center. Responsive variants are special. They can work with component classes without declaration. We can see after we have passed the large breakpoint, the comp class has been applied to the P tag, turning its text color to yellow. It is still best to explicitly pair responsive variants with the comp class. 